Hey guys, my name is Leah and welcome back to another video. This video is a little different because I am showing you guys how to custom color your wig. And in this video, I will be using a, an AF sister wig. This is a natural wave 12 inch wig in the color, I think it's a natural 1B. The link to the wig will be down below in the description box. So I'm just showing you guys how it looks, what it comes with. It comes with four combs, not three, in the wig. One at the bottom, one in the center of the wig right after the lace, and two on the sides that I absolutely do not use. And it comes with a pretty light colored um, lace but I am um, gonna go in and tint the lace so anyways you need a foam head I'm using the adore dyes in the colors copper brown and paprika I also picked up some 20 volume developer some 40 volume developer and some Wella color charm um, bleach okay I like the brand Wella color but I feel like after doing this I'm probably not gonna be using them again but that's neither here nor there. So I'm just showing you guys everything that you need if you've never, ever, ever colored a wig and had to bleach it. These are the things that you need. Please make sure to use gloves at all times if you want to protect your hands, your skin, and your nails. Ladies, you do not want to ruin your nails. Whether they are fake acrylic nails or your real natural nails, you just don't want anything to happen to them. So anyways, I'm mixing the bleach and I'm mixing my 40 volume developer that's also from Wella Color Charm. And I'm going to be mixing that together to get a pretty thick consistency because this is the consistency that I'm going to use to bleach my knots. So let me tell you guys the freaking mess that happened with my notch. I think well, I've had this wig and for about two weeks now. So yes, this video is coming a little late, but it took me three times to bleach the knots on this wig. Those knots would not bleach whatsoever. And I think it may have been the bleach that I was using, which is why I said earlier I'm not going to be using the Wella brand anymore for coloring or bleaching because it just did not bleach my knots well. It bleached the hair beautifully, but the knots... There's just no reason for me to bleach my knots three times for it to finally take. So anyways, I applied the bleach to the wig, the lace part of the wig. There's 50,000 videos on YouTube on how to properly do it. So I didn't go into too much detail. But now I am just parting the wig in a way that I think I would like it. And honestly... I'm not really doing anything special but blow drying it and making sure that it's dry before I go in and bleach the hair. The hair took really, really, really well to the bleach. This hair is super soft. Once again, it is from AF Sister Wig and it's so soft. Like I got this wig in a medium size, which is a 22 inch cap size. But like I said, the description will be down below. So now I'm going to take my previously mixed bleach that I used for the knots and I'm just going to add in more bleach and more developer. But this time I'm using 20 volume developer instead of 40 for the hair because I'm not trying to fry the hair. Okay, we are not about that life. And you just want to make sure to mix it very, very, very well to make sure there's no more chunks of the bleach still in the consistency. And so I'm going to take that smoother consistency and I'm just going to start to put that all over the hair. Because the wig was already pre-made, I'm not worried about being really neat with it because I know how I want the color to come out and I don't like my colors looking really flat. I like highlights, low lights. So if more bleach gets on one area than the other it does not bother me for this particular look. I'm also not taking it all the way to the roots. Even though in the back it doesn't matter if you take it to the roots or not. Because I don't wear my hair up. I don't really um, part it further back. Because it's not a full lace wig. It's just a lace front wig. That right there is not going to bother me. 
So you just want to make sure to comb the bleach all throughout the hair. And tell me why on the last section I ran out of bleach. So I had to run to Walmart because it was late at night. No beauty supply stores were open. And I found this like brand. I don't even know what it is um, of bleach, which is blue. Doesn't really bother me. Bleach comes in blue or white. I personally don't care. So I had to mix that so well and make the consistency really, really, really thin to try to spread it around on the last section of hair because my hair was literally going to be split in half of having one section lighter than the other. So I had to go back in and bleach on top of that section because you can even see the part that I'm working on is a lot darker than the middle and the other side of the hair that already started to process. So I had to run back and get some more bleach. But everything turned out fine. Um, no parts bleached any more than the other because typically with darker colored hair, you can only bleach it up to a certain point and then the hair just stops being bleached. Like it just would not bleach anymore. So in total, I think I left the bleach on for maybe an hour to an hour and 10 minutes. I know way more than what you're supposed to, but this is weave. This is not my hair. I would never, ever, ever do this to my own hair. So it doesn't bother me. So now that I noticed that my knots still didn't bleach, I'm going to go back in with that same consistency and I'm going to go and bleach the knots again for the second time. The third time that I did it, I did not record it because I was just so frustrated with it. But I just used the regular uh, Clairol BW2 powder lightener and the Clairol 40 volume developer. That got my knots bleached to perfection this right here i don't know what happened i don't know if it was because of the brand but it just didn't bleach so i'm gonna show you guys me rinsing out the bleach from the hair i'm gonna start with the front two first that i let sit for about 15 to 20 minutes and then i'm gonna go on to just rinsing out the rest of the hair and yes i do have the generic brand purple shampoo it's compared to shimmer lights but i think shimmer lights sometimes stains the lace and so i don't use it but the generic brand shampoo I really do like it and I only use it for bleached hair. I don't ever use that shampoo for regular hair. If I'm just regularly coloring the hair, then I don't use it. Yeah, so you're just gonna see me massaging that purple shampoo into the lace and then also into the hair to make sure that there's no more brassiness in the hair. There's plenty of other videos on YouTube of people rinsing out the bleach from their hair, so there's not too much detail to talk about in this. You're just washing the hair pretty much. So this is the hair after it is blow dried and you can see it lifted really 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 well it doesn't look too brassy it just looks really yellow and yes there is a difference between a brassiness and just a yellow bleach so now I'm gonna mix in a full bottle of the copper brown color from the adore semi-permanent hair dyes and then I'm gonna go in with the paprika which is a lighter toned um, like copper orange color and I'm just gonna mix those two together and also add in some 20 volume developer because I really 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 want to concentrate that color on the hair 
the one thing about the adore dyes is that it's just pure liquid so it does get really 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 messy which is why i put down the trash bags i like using trash bags better than foil foil it tends to stick to trash bags it doesn't stick to so that's why you see the trash bag on the table because it just gets so messy And then so, like I said, I'm not too particular about how I put on color and bleach and stuff on pre-made wigs because as long as I have the bleach in a certain area, that's where the color is going to go. And I did not bring it all the way up to the roots in most areas because you're not ever going to see the roots of my wig. So this is how the wig looks when it's just wet and saturated with the color. It looks a lot darker than what it actually came out to be. That is just how hair color works. It looked burgundy, but my hair is absolutely not burgundy. I mean, well, now it is because I went back and re-dyed it a darker color. But for the sake of this video and turning my hair copper, it is not burgundy at all. And so I'm just going to go and rinse out the color and please 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 guys do not forget to put on your gloves because this color will stain your hands it will stain your nails you just don't want that so i'm gonna go in with some drugstore um heat protectant honestly i've had the same heat protectant for like two years because i do not straighten my hair i don't put heat on my hair so probably not gonna link that down below but i'm sure any heat protectant will suffice and i'm just taking the curling iron i do not know how to properly use a curling iron so if someone could show me or just let me know if like i know i'm not using it correctly but this is how i used the freaking flat iron and the curls came out just fine for me so that's pretty much what i'm doing is just setting the curls so that for the next day, when I shake out the curls, it's gonna look bomb. And this is how the hair looks when it's finished being curled. I'm gonna let the curls sit overnight. It was like two o'clock in the morning at the time, way past my bedtime, and I was just ready to go, like just go to bed. But um, anyway, so this is the color of the hair and doesn't it look so cute i feel like it looks adorable i freaking love it it is definitely copper like you cannot say this hair is orange or red it's copper so stay tuned for part two where you see me customize the front two and apply my wig and i'll see you guys later bye